Hey everyone, welcome to Ben's Experience. I've used both of Namecheap and DreamHost and I found that Namecheap outperforms DreamHost in terms of the loading speed, backup and customer support. When it comes to ease of use and email setup, both providers were similar. Areas where DreamHost shines are the possibility of migrating your WordPress site yourself and the very long money-back guarantee of 97 days. To support this work at no extra cost to you, simply give this video a like or use my affiliate link in the description to visit Namecheap. Without any further ado, let's start our comparison with the loading speed. When I was preparing for this loading speed test, I mentally braced myself to encounter the same sluggishness I experienced when two of my sites were hosted on Namecheap between 2021 and 2022. To my surprise, I was mistaken. After installing the Astra team and one of their blog templates to mimic real life, the loading speed of different pages on my blog was surprisingly quick. I wondered if Namecheap's servers got better or if the plugins I was using were the problem. Seeking a second opinion, I checked the speed using tools like GT Metrics, PageSpeed Insights, and Pinkdown. As you can see, the website received an A, indicating everything looks good. And according to GT Metrics, my homepage size was 1.31 MB, and it fully loaded in just 1.5 seconds, which is impressive. However, Page Speed Insights and Pinkdom gave me lower grades. Overall, I'm satisfied with the speed. While DreamHost has many positive aspects, there are some not so good aspects to consider. One of them is the average speed. I conducted a split test comparison with Hostinger to demonstrate the difference. In the comparison, DreamHost didn't load as quickly as Hostinger. If you still want to go with DreamHost, just remember to optimize your WordPress by installing only the necessary plugins, also using a lightweight team, and optimizing the size of your photos. With the presence of cPanel, installing WordPress on Namecheap becomes a breeze. Once inside cPanel, Navigate to Software and click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Ensure that you use HTTPS to avoid security issues with web browsers. Verify your domain name if you have more than one. Give your blog a name and description. Then choose a username and a strong password and use an email address that you have access to. For language, I will leave it set to English. For plugins, I recommend in checking all if you're unsure about what you need. And for the advanced options, select weekly for automated backups, then hit install. After a moment, your brand new WordPress site is ready to be customized as you want. DreamHost made installing WordPress straightforward. All you have to do is click on install WordPress under WordPress, select your domain name, hit install and wait a minute. After that, you will receive an email confirming your installation and letting you set your WordPress password. I like the system Namecheap uses to keep a copy of your files. It employs a cPanel plugin tool called Auto Backup that takes daily backups extending as far back as a year. Downloading a copy of your backup to your computer is simple. Just click on Get Full Backup As, select Zip, and then click on Get. Restoring can be done in a basic or advanced manner. The basic method overwrites the content with your chosen backup content without losing any new content added since your chosen backup. The advanced option deletes all files and the account is recreated with the data from the backup. It is recommended if your website has been a victim of a malicious attack.
compared to other web hosting providers, I find this system more user-friendly to work with. Others either provide a user-friendly interface but charge extra for automated daily backups, or offer automated daily backups but with complicated management. Instead of weekly backups, DreamHost makes daily ones that you can access. One minor flaw I didn't like about DreamHost backup system is that it makes them a bit harder to access. But rest assured, your backups exist within your website files. The support team was very quick to connect through live chat. It felt as if they were waiting for me. Based on my experience with the live chat support, I found it to be responsive and knowledgeable. Compared to other competitors like Bluehost, Hostinger and Dreamhost, in terms of the waiting time to connect, Namecheap live chat was the fastest one to connect. However, during the conversation, I found Hostinger's team to be a little bit quicker to answer my questions. Overall, my experience with the live chat support was good enough to rate it with a thumbs up after finishing my conversation. In 2024, DreamHost made a good change by making their live chat support available all day and night, instead of just for 16 hours a day. Improvement like this makes me trust the company more. Every time I use the live chat, I talk to Juan. While the support team may be limited in number, the waiting times were always acceptable and the quality of support I received was top-notch and fast. Shout out to Juan from DreamHost. Creating an email account on Namecheap is easy. Look for email inside cPanel and click on email accounts. Then click on create, select your domain name, enter the username that you want to use, and a strong password. For the storage space, I prefer it to be unlimited. Also, I want to receive instructions on how to set up a mail client. When you finish, click on create. To see your inbox, Click on check email next to your email account. There you have it, your new email account is ready to send and receive emails or connect with Gmail. DreamHost also simplified the process of creating a professional email address. It's straightforward, just click on manage email, select your domain, fill in your information and voila, you have your inbox ready to go. Migrating your WordPress site from another host to Namecheap isn't straightforward, as Namecheap lacks an official migration plugin similar to those offered by Bluehost or Dreamhost. Considering this, you have a couple of options for migrating your WordPress site to Namecheap. The first option involves doing it yourself using plugins such as Migrate Guru or All-in-One WP Migration. Alternatively, you can opt for the second migration option by reaching out to the customer support team. They can perform a full cPanel migration or just migrating your WordPress site, depending on the level of access you have. If you already have an existing WordPress website on another host and you want to move it to DreamHost, you have not to worry. DreamHost lets you move it without touching any database file searching for FTP access or experiencing downtime. I already explained that in a detailed video, just look up for DreamHost migration bands experience.